All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at Snowflake Summit. It's day three, and I'm super excited to chat with Gerard and Abel. Gerard from Cement and uh, Ger uh, Abel from SciSeen. Super excited to be here, and obviously wanting to learn a little about generative AI, what's happening in the space, Snowflake Summit, and the partnership here. Uh, but before that, would you like to introduce yourself? Tell us more about what you do at Cement and what you do at SciSeen. Yeah, thanks for having us. Um, my name is Jared Hoffman. I'm a group product manager for Cement's data platform. So definitely Snowflake Summit is a great place for me to be today, learning a ton of stuff. Um, yeah, and that's, uh, you know, group product management. Awesome. Uh, Abel? Thanks. Um, Abel Gonzalez. I am the senior director of product marketing uh, here at SciSense, and we are really uh, looking to how embed uh, analytics into our, our customers' um, applications to right. drive better data experiences. That's awesome. Uh, uh, quick question for Gerard. Uh, Gerard, just for audience, uh, tell us more about what do you do, what are the offerings. Uh, would love to learn a little about that. Yeah, sure. Uh, so Cement's a customer engagement platform. We specialize in what we call conscious engagement, um, which means that we leverage a uh, deep understanding of behavioral science, data science, and our technology to get a better understanding of people's motivations and behaviors. Um, largely, we focus on telcos and financial institutions, helping them with at-risk or delinquent customer populations to uh, help those individuals uh, recover positively from their delinquency situations. Right. So how can we get them back on track quickly and easily without negatively impacting that customer experience overall? Those are fantastic insights. Also, thanks for sharing that. Uh, Abel, I have a question for you as well around why developers should care about embedding analytics. I'm kind of wanting to learn that from a bit. Yeah, yeah and it's, it's really interesting because developers are really trying to build a better application, differentiate themselves, monetize their, their data, and with embedded analytics, you can harness the power of the SciSense platform, for example, to really drive those experiences and make it really easy for developers to right. actually um, be able to build and without compromising their, their UX principles. We, we are able to integrate and embed within the different workflows Yep. Uh, and allows that to provide that much richer experiences to their users as they're as they're working it. Thanks for sharing those uh, insights. Uh, also, another quick question for uh, Gerard. Uh, so I'm kind of also curious to know about how analytics add value to your offering. What's the angle there? Yeah, for sure. So because we're dealing with hundreds of millions of customer interactions on an ongoing basis, trying to really understand what's motivating people, how are they interacting with the messages that we're sending them on behalf of the clients that we're uh, engaged with, we need a deep understanding of analytics so that we can actually understand what's working, what's not working, mm -hmm. um, what are people's motivations, how are they interacting, what kind of behavioral persona do they fit into, and that understanding really helps us leverage uh, that analytical data so that we can make refinements to our engagement right, strategies right. and drive better opportunities and, and solutions for our clients overall. That's awesome. Uh, I'll just stay on, uh, I have like a follow-up question for you. So when you talk about analytics, uh, why why did you choose SciSense for your analytics needs? Uh, like what was your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, largely, you know, we've had a few different analytic solutions in the past that just haven't really fit our needs. Um, so we engaged SciSense probably about a year ago and had some initial conversations about how we needed something that was a little bit more suitable right. for an embedded experience. The ability to bring analytics within like arm's reach of where our users are working. Um, how can we surface better insight? How can we help them make quick decisions? Um, iterate and experiment in place with our playbook solutions. Um, and so SciSense just represented a really great solution for us that we could see, you know, not only an initial really strong offering, but a good long roadmap of uh, value additions over time. Yeah. That makes sense. So, uh, quick question for you, uh, Abel. In terms of uh, when you talk about analytics, uh, well, and you know the companies that you are working with, uh, what are the results you help companies achieve? Uh, do you want to share about a little about that with the embedded analytics? Yeah, for us, it's it's really important. Like when we work with our customers, it's almost like Sisens is not visible, it's in the back end, because right. it's powering all of these different experiences that they're they're trying to build. So uh, when we were working uh, with Simon, for example, how do we provide better analytics so that they can provide better service to their customers? Right. Uh, we have 
companies from health um, sciences to financial services to retail, um, you name it. And it's the analytics that's powering key aspects of their platform and how they deliver information to their users. Right, um, right. We have, for example, one of uh, our uh, sales enablement platforms mm -hmm. has Sisons embedded in the back end to really understand how users are engaging with content, how it's working, how it's performing. Right. And, and, and for us, it's, yeah, it's all powered by Sisons, but it's all about making our customers look better, differentiate, and be able to monetize more of that data. It is data. important, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, uh, those are good points. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, uh, Gerard, another question for you. What are you able to do and achieve now that wasn't, uh, that you could do previously before Sisense? I'm kind of wanting to learn a little about that. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're, we're starting on the journey right now with Sisense and, you know, we're just kind of in the early phases of it. Yes. But one of the key pieces of value that we're able to deliver right away here is that we're able to embed uh, KPI-based dashboarding that right. can help our uh, users, our playbook designers, our individuals that are interacting with our platform really understand how well they're doing. How are they measuring against their goals? Um, how is their engagement strategy progressing over time? And that's just something that we weren't able to really put within arm's reach for them in the past. And now we can also see sort of that developmental life cycle that's going to happen over time as we build out the product capabilities, where we're going to start to put those insights in place and really make it something that somebody can like draw direct insight out of at a really tactical points along the uh, iteration life cycle and really speed up experimentation, changes, understanding what's uh, driving positive customer interaction and just kind of see that in place across the entire user experience. That's awesome. Uh, thanks for sharing that uh, background and I'm we are looking, we are excited to see what happens uh, next and how y'all are building up the future for the analytics world as well. Uh, okay, since we're here at Snowflake Summit, right? I'm kind of curious to also know, what do you think about Snowflake Summit 2024? How's the, uh, you know, what do you think about the larger community? Would love to know a little about that. Well, it's always exciting to come out and talk to customers, talk to um, other people in the analytics um, space so that we learn from each other. So for me, it's, it's all, all about learning uh, and also interacting with um, customers and interacting with people now that it's a lot harder to get together in person. It's like a great opportunity to, to have these True. additional connections. So uh, I've been really excited to see all the developer, builder type of um, new technology and really just um, interact with people, like just talk to people. I mean, what, what about you? What about you, Jira? Yeah, I mean, it's been a pretty incredible week so far. I mean, we're only on halfway point of Wednesday and we still got all day tomorrow <laughs> still. Right. Uh, the keynotes have been fantastic, really interesting. Uh, the last two days were really uh, entertaining and engaging and watching just that humbling as you know some demos go uh, poorly, puts you back into your own seat as a product manager demoing our own products, right. having those demos go astray. But you know, like largely I think one of the best things about this is just the opportunity to go and sit in on these sessions and hear from others that are facing similar problems, understanding how they've leveraged the solutions that uh, Snowflake's providing uh, to just really deliver value. And um, we don't have to start from scratch we can learn what others have already established and they're starting to play, pave the way. Um, and that's really enlightening is just kind of hear how others have dealt with similar problems that we're facing. Yes, there's a lot of innovations that are happening and uh, the space is evolving very fast. That's what at least I hear from the leaders and uh, that's what I'm sensing. Okay, if our audience want to reach out to you, Gerard, Abel, where can they do it? Is LinkedIn a best place? Is there something, some other place? And where can they learn more about Simmons and uh, Sisins? Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, you can find me on LinkedIn. Um, and uh, largely, if you want to learn more about Cement, um, you can find us online. You can uh, reach out to us on our website, uh, get access, you know, hit me up if you want access to a member of our sales team. If you'd like to schedule a demo, if you'd like to ask questions, I'm happy to facilitate. Um, we've got a lot of interesting stories to tell. We think our use case is very uh, appealing for anybody with a large customer population of delinquent uh, accounts that wants to help them positively recover. Um, we think we have an excellent solution for that and we're excited to have more of these types of conversations. That's awesome. Hey, Will. Yeah. Also, I'm LinkedIn as LinkedIn well is and uh, yeah. uh, Sisons.com, obviously, for, yes. uh, for any additional information. And yeah, we, we, we are passionate about data and we're passionate about creating these experiences. So right. please reach out. We can do something tailored and see how we can help manage, manage that, all that analytics. Yeah. 
Love it. Thanks for sharing all the great insight. It was such a pleasure chatting with you, Gerard Abel. And I'm definitely looking forward to learning more about how you all progress in the partnership, but uh, keeping an eye on all the great material that you all share on the website, but also on your LinkedIn. And I'll share all the links with our folks as well. Thank you very awesome. much once again. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, everyone.